You are looking live at the roller coaster capital of the world. Cedar Point's opening day less than a month away. The theme park's reopening will provide a major boost to Sandusky's economy after millions of tourism dollars were lost last year due to the pandemic. News 5's Katie Houston has more in this rebound report. The summer of 2020 in tourist hotspot Sandusky is one George Sortino will never forget. It was sad. It was brokenhearted. And... Uh, uh, we just try to stay positive and uh, try to survive it. His Cedar Corner complex, just down the road from Cedar Point, hanging on. Prime money making months wasted due to COVID-19 with fewer tourists spending. I always describe it as if I had uh, the bathtub full of money and you wait all year to drain it and then hopefully there's something left over when April rolls around, but this time we started off drained. Low overhead, staff cuts, negotiating with banks and a tightening of operating expenses helps the 35-year-old business survive. The last time was this bad is when the inflation was high, where interest, interest rates were 18 percent, you couldn't get gas but we still were able to survive it. Not only did his business survive, but so did Sortino. An already bad summer turned worse in July when he was hospitalized for nearly three weeks with the coronavirus. I was saying my prayers, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't breathe. The 77 year old now recovered and ready for what he hopes to be a busy tourism season. I feel good and uh, I hope to be around a little longer. Like Sortino, the city of Sandusky looking to bounce back. In normal times, the home of Cedar Point brings in about 3 million tourists every summer. But last year, a dramatic decrease to about 600,000. Typically, we rely on about $4.7 million in, uh, in admissions tax. That number shrunk to $635,000 in admissions tax. The city getting by through major budget cuts and millions in funding from COVID relief bills. The one thing that we can all take away from this experience is Sandusky, like many small towns, through this pandemic have, have had to bend, but we've never broken. Stories of survival and a place that brings joy to so many, and hopefully soon, a story of revival. Hopefully people come get on the roller coaster. If you wake up any closer, you wake up on a roller coaster here, okay? <laughs> Katie Eusen, News 5. And while the city of Cedar Point is set to open up on May 14th, the Castaway Bay Hotel and the indoor water park will remain closed for the 2021 season. While Cedar Point still needs to fill some 6,500 open positions before opening day, the park is hosting a hiring fair tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. at its recruiting center in Sandusky. A variety of jobs are available, including ride operations, retail, games, and park services. New and returning seasonal workers are eligible for a $500 signing bonus if they are hired by May 31st.